Hey, beautiful people of the Most High God. I just want to talk about people who feel they're entitled to God's blessings and entitled to things that God gives his servants. All right. So there's some people out here. Um, they see people putting in the work for God. But this is how it works. If you're sending up prayers, you're sending up praise, you're sending up thanksgiving, you're sending up love, you're sending up the work that you're doing for God. When you're sending things up to God, obviously he's going to be sending things down. All right? When you're in alignment with God, it's creator, creation. You're working for your creator. Your creator is helping you do the work. So the more you put send up to God, whether it be praise, whether it whether it be thanksgiving, whether it be gratitude, what do you think? God is going to be sending back things down to you. Blessings, gifts, etc. And also, if you're doing work for God, the labor, the laborer's reward, God is going to send down rewards to you. All right? You've got some people who want to reap where they never sown. They see someone else's journey and pathway that they're walking with the Father. They're walking with the Creator. And then they're trying to interfere with that. And then with what they're getting from God. But they're not putting up anything to God to receive anything from God. They're not giving praise. They're not giving gratitude. They're not keeping his commandments. They're not following him. They're not listening to nothing that he says. But they want the rewards from God. And then they get envious and jealous of somebody who's actually putting in the work. Yeah, they're sending up to God and God is sending down to them. What are you sending up to God to receive anything from him? And then you have the nerve to say that, Oh, how come God's doing that for somebody and they're not God's not doing that for you? But what are you doing? Six days you shall work and on the seventh day you shall rest. What work are you putting in for God? You have no right to be envious or jealous of an ex man or woman who's actually sending up to God and receiving blessings. Doing the work for God and getting their laborers reward. Doing their work for God and receiving their spiritual gifts. Take your eyes off of people and their journey with God. Go get yourself a relationship with God. So you can have that relationship with creator giving to creation. And you, creation, should be giving up to your creator. Thanks, gratitude, praise, in alignment with his work, helping his creation spreading love, doing what he told you to do. And when you do that, you receive. You want to receive without work. If you don't work, you don't eat. You want to reap where you never sown. You want the reward without the labor. And that's not how it works. And then you see someone putting in the work. And you're jealous and you're envious. You don't have no right to be jealous and envious. You just need to get in alignment. And put in the work. Send up your thanks to God. Send up your praise to God. Send up your gratitude to God. Be faithful to God. Start listening to God. Start getting in God's presence. Be holy and set apart like God told you. Stop gossiping. Stop doing certain, stop going around people, places and things that you know you shouldn't be around. And then you'll see that it's creator creation. The creator will be sending down things to you. The creator will be opening up doors for you. The creator will be expanding you. But you can't be envious and jealous of someone who you see putting in that work for their laborer's reward. But, but you're not. And I'm really tired of people doing that. Those are the ones digging pits for you. Planting bad seeds for you. Speaking evil over you. When they don't need to do that. They just need to open up their mouth and praise. And thank God. And give gratitude. And, not, and speak the truth and not lies. 
help people and not hurt people. Build people up and not tear people down. You understand? What are they doing to receive from God? He told them to plant. Are they planting? He told them to build. Are they building? He told them to be holy and set apart. Are they holy and set apart? But they want all the gifts from God. They want all the blessings from God. They want all the riches and the glory and the gold and the silver from God. But they don't want to seek God. They don't want to send up anything to God. Praise, thankfulness. But they want God to send down everything for them. They're so entitled. You can't even walk into school and say, give me the diploma. You got to work for it. So you don't just expect God to give you the blessing. There's certain things you have to work for. You are already blessed. Some people don't know their gifts and their talents because they, they don't have any time to be the creation, seeking their creator to find out what he put them here for. But then they are upset and they're envious and jealous of someone else who's walking in their talents, their gifts, their abilities that they know from God because they spent time with him and they were put in in the work. These people want rewards without labor. They want to reap where they never sown. And then they have the nerve to compete with people where they don't compare. And honestly, I'm very, I'm so over them. And I just wanted to talk about that. This is not a message from God. This is just me speaking to you beautiful people. And this is just my views and my thoughts on this. Stay blessed.